Hey there everybody, welcome back to Nazo Time. Today we are back playing more Imposter Factory and I gotta tell you, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's gonna happen, but apparently we're gonna get some answers, which is why I left the episode where I did. But now, we're in a little lavender field. And uh, Linry did say something about lavender, so maybe this will help. This will help with that connection. Okay, so yeah, Quincy's definitely like, it feels odd to just leave everything behind like this. But why did she send me here? Oh, we got us some data. Okay, so yeah, we're building something. We must be in his memories already. I just don't quite know how it works. Is she a little kid? Hello? Hey. Yeah, we're collecting memories. Uh... Oh, this feels... Oh, it's been a while since I've done this. What was that? Are these people? I can't talk to some of them. I can't talk to any of them. Now, now, everyone stay together, okay? Peter, quit picking on Izzy like that. And Linry... Hey, Linry... I said don't go far from the group, especially you. Linry? Is this the past? But how? I mean, you've already time looped. So. Now, Linry, I have specific instructions from your parents that... Hey, stop running! Oh, we're gonna run. Oh, this game's gonna hit me in the feels again, isn't it? Okay, if you do that again... Hey, the doctor said your participation on this trip is co conditional. Doctor? The doctor? Oh, Linry, if you don't watch it... Linry? Uh-oh. Linry. Everything here froze as soon as she fainted. Does that mean this place is all based on her? This barrier. Hey. There we go. But it's not as fun as... Charging up a Kamehameha blast. You know? You gotta, you gotta get into it. Now, Quincy doesn't know what's happening yet. Oh. So apparently she has some kind of medical condition. Sorry, Dad. This was all my fault, wasn't it? You should have been more careful, Linry. But no, this isn't all your fault. Do you think I'll still be able to go on more class trips? Well, we'll have to see what the doctor says. Just be patient and we'll try our best, okay? Okay. How's mom doing? This is the second time it happened, isn't it? Yeah, we thought it was a one-off. We really shouldn't have allowed her to go without close supervision. Well, fortunately, the fall was cushioned. These early symptoms can be dangerous. Experimental drugs for them are on the horizon. But, in the long run? Could one of you stay here with Linry? As for the other, please come with me. Oh, the dad's gonna go? Okay. It's gonna be okay, Linry. Aww. I can't hear what they're saying. Oh, because Linry couldn't. Is it... Is it because she couldn't? 
Uh, am I good to go? Okay, I'm gonna go away. Bye. Car? Hello? Oh, this is their home. Okay. I thought we were in a random parking lot. I'd be like, that's kind of odd. Oh, she's eavesdropping on her parents. But when will it happen? Tomorrow? Years down the road? Hey, it's not certain that it'll turn malignant, right? There's a chance that it'll never surface. But there's a chance that it will. Then we'll treat it. If we start treatment as soon as it worsens, if it worsens, then we have another chance, right? Still, it's just... It just feels like there's so much left to mere chance. Linry? What are you doing here, Lin? I can't sleep. Aww. Is there something wrong with me? Don't worry, Lin. It's nothing we can't get through together. Is that what's keeping you up? No. Oh, then what's the matter? The doctor said I can't go on field trips anymore, didn't he? Not for now, but they are working on something that'll help. Oh. Are you sad that you had to end the trip early today? Yeah. I didn't want to leave so soon. Everyone else got to stay the whole day. Let's go back then. Go back? When? Why not now? Really? It's late, Bill. Oh, there's no harm in a little nighttime excursion now and then. Besides, I've got just the thing for it. Hooray! Are you coming, Mom? It's okay. I'll stay. I'll make some warm soup for when you two get back. Okay. Oh, it's it's tearing Mom up. No, you can't hear what she said because Lynn wasn't there. Docs, the, the doctor's locked. The door's locked. The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint. Expiry. I don't know if that's what it's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. Okay, what does the little prince have to do with this? Wow, is it really a telescope? Sure is, and I'll show you how it works too. I'm gonna put it in the car, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go say bye to mom. Oh. Yeah, I can't I can't do anything with Lynn. Ah. Oh, it's already getting sad. We're still in act 2. It's that light again. Linry? Is that you? Whoa, that's cool. It says here that it should be just a bit to the west, but... There are just so many of them. How can you track one down? Hmm. I think I found it. You did? I want to see. Wow. I can't believe it. It really does look like the pictures in the book. Hey. Didn't I tell you? You name it, and I'll find it. What if they don't have a name? All those stars... They don't all have names yet, do they? 
<laughs> Why don't you come up here with me and see for yourself? Hey, Dad. Do you think there's a star up there with my name? There's already a star with your name, Linry. It's just not up there. What? Oh. That's cheesy, Dad. Oh. I still like the lavender more, but... I'll admit, the stars are pretty cool too. Aw, oh, she's so cute! I don't know what's gonna happen though! You know what's amazing about them, Lynn? Even though those stars all shine so brightly, many of them have already been gone for a long time. Gone? Yeah. Even the stars don't last forever. But then, why do we still see them? Well, that's because during the time they were here, they shined so brightly that their light traveled so far it reaches us even now. Wow. I suppose I should thank them then. Without them, I wouldn't be able to see the lavender field. Well, then maybe you should thank the lavender too. Because without them, there would be nothing to see, right? Yeah. The lavender may not be in the sky, but I like them better that way. I can play in them, smell them, and see them up close. The stars are all so far away, but I guess they have their own part to do too. I wouldn't change a thing about either of them. Wouldn't change a thing, huh? So if you could be either, which would you rather be? Um, well, I still like Lavender more, so... So I... I want to be a star. Why a star if you like lavender more? Duh, Dad. To make sure everyone can see the lavender, of course. I'd shine down on this field so bright and make it as light as day. And then everybody could always see just how lovely it is. Aw, she's so sweet. Sounds like you'd make a wonderful star, Lynn. This is nice, Dad. <laughs> I wish we could stay up late and come here every week. But, Dad, could I ask you something? Yes, Lynn. Why was mom crying? Oh. There's still so much data to get. Ah, uh, but Lynn was there. I don't know. I don't want to say she's fine, but she was there, so Okay, so she grew a little older, had a birthday, had doctor's visits, studied, a giraffe? Okay. What the, what? What's that about? Just like the giraffes, the peppered moth is also used as an example of natural selection. Although the experiment has been debated, the hypothesis remains unchanged. 
that when genetic mutation occurs, natural selection decides whether it lives on or dies out. If the mutation is good, then the organism is more likely to survive and pass on its genes. And if the mutation is harmful, it's less likely to survive and reproduce, thus filtering itself out. Oh, Because she's dealing with a, a sickness. Teacher, you're cold. That was mean. I bet that's, that's why she got up and walked away. You feeling okay, Linry? I'm fine. Why? Well, for one, you seemed upset. And then there's the whole leaving in the middle of a class thing. I just didn't want to waste time, that's all. I was already familiar with the topics being taught. So you skip class to read. What even is that? Microbiology? Oh, come on. You skip Stacy's parties but have time for freaking micro blah blah blah? High school years are for making memories. Huh. You got an interesting point. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to find some books on the formation of memories. That's not what I meant. I know, but thanks anyway. That was a lot of data. Graduated. Diagnosis. More studying. Bikes? I want, I want to ride a bike. Can I not? Okay. That's fine, too. Hello. Got three little orbs to fire away. Did I just get one like that? Okay. I want to go this way first, though. Okay, apparently I can't go that far. Okay, so she got a book. I don't even know what book it is. I got people blocking my path, though. Okay, so go... to class? It's still a bit behind schedule, isn't it? Yeah, but I'll catch up. There's a lot to analyze, but at least I have the data now. Mm-hmm. Good. I know it's a lot, but yours is the one I'm looking forward to the most. No pressure. Thanks. Thanks, Prof. What's it say? Can't read it. Brain scans? Okay. She's studying to be a doctor? She did say she wanted to learn how, like, the formations of memories are made, so... It wouldn't surprise me. But I feel like it's giving us credit for a lot of data and I haven't really received that much. Nine Re. Oh, there she is. That's it. I'm dropping out. Oh, that's that's a different that's it. Okay. I thought you learned something, not just giving up. It's a very fancy laptop you got. I guess this place is no joke. But come to think of it. Why do I feel as if... As if I graduated from somewhere just like this. I don't know. She said you were created, so. Well, maybe not. What the pug? Excuse me. Is this seat free? Seems like it.
Study buddies? Aw, oh, look at that smile. Wait. If this is supposed to be the past, and my past too, how come I don't remember this at all? I mean, this place is familiar at all, but... Hey, why is it getting darker? But my, my last memory I need. That's why it got darker. You fell asleep. Good job. You're a horrible student. Oh no! Wh what? Is it really nighttime already? Aw oh, man, I guess so. You dozed off too, huh? Yeah, I can't believe this. This is the second time this week. It's gonna mess up my sleep schedule. You look a little burnt out. Yeah, well, who is it nowadays? He's like me. Actually, how did you fall asleep like that? I, uh, uh, well. Jet lag. Jet lag? Yeah, I just came back from backpacking around the world. Wow, lucky. Yeah. But now I gotta catch up. Wait, you mean you literally just took a trip in the middle of a semester? Yep. Why? <laughs> Alright, maybe I should go back to work while I'm still sane. Me too. I got a bunch of essays to catch up on. Rough, what's your major? I'm majoring in le... Le... Liberal arts. Oh. Alright. Liberal arts can be very useful. I didn't even... I didn't even say anything. That was unprovoked. Look, I'm being sincere. I don't know why you guys get so much flack around here. Psh. What are you majoring in? I'm in it. I knew. Well, it's a little embarrassing. It's okay. Go on. What is it? Neuroscience. Doctorate, technically. <laughs> you bastard. So what? Are you working on becoming a doctor? Well, no, I'm more into re the research side. My paper is on the synaptic modification and encoding of memories. I wonder if like she's the one that created this whole like system that everybody's been using. What's wrong? It's nothing. Uh-huh. Well, it's going to be a real long night. I'm going to grab some coffee from across the hall. You want one too? Sure, thanks. My name's Quincy, by the way. I'm Linry. So we have a history. We knew each other, but I don't recall any of it. Get that data, buddy. Can you... No, okay. I was like, just in case we get a little something. What y'all doing? Okay. I guess I can't do anything else. So they became study buddies. I get it. Yep. Oh, what'd you get her? A coffee? Yeah, that's sweet. At least it wasn't a plant, because it kind of looked like a plant, and then she took a sip of it, so I figured that wasn't the case. Y'all doing alright? You gonna fall asleep? Aww, they're looking at each other. So cute. So 
So if they have a history together, what does that mean? You know, what what is that going to mean for everybody? All right, studying, biking, booking, walking. Why aren't you going to eat with her? Come on, man. Oh, he took up running <laughs> and she looks mad. Oh, okay. Oh, they're just, they're just eating. Okay. I guess I don't have to interact with them. What does this all mean, though? I'm so confused. What, one day she's not going to be there to study? Or neither of them are. Oh, they're sitting on the... Okay. And how about the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, it was quite a sight. I mean, there are a lot of taller structures nowadays, but... There's just something about the way it stands alone in the horizon. It sounds nice, seeing all of those places up close. I wonder if it's different from the pictures. Are you kidding? Of course it's different. It's standing beneath the proof of civilization, close enough to reach out and touch history. I hope your anthropology professor shares the same level of enthusiasm. Eiffel Tower, the Pyramids of Giza, the Great Wall. Honestly, I've always wanted to go too. Then why don't you? I mean, if I'm able to save up for a trip, I'm sure you could too. No, it's just... I don't have the time. Don't have the time? I know you're busy, but surely you can spare a few weeks. It's not just that. I chose my path a long time ago, Quincy. I have to find a place where I'll leave a mark, but I don't know how long I'll have to get there. It's nice catching glimpses of the scenery as I go, but if I were to stop and smell the roses, I'm afraid I'd realize how nice it all is and just stay. I see. That's quite a dramatic way to put it. But... It's also kind of romantic. It reminds me of those stars in the sky. Huh? Like, they shine and brighten the earth below, but can't be a part of this world themselves. It, yeah. Something like that. Our time here is so limited, I always feel such a pressure to make something of it. <laughs> well, I guess that always had a different effect on me. When I think of how limited our time here is, can't help but want to simply enjoy it while it lasts. I guess it's kind of selfish in comparison. There's nothing wrong about simply wanting to experience the world. Sounds like something my grandma would say. Uh, I mean that in the nicest way, uh, of course. It's just, she always lived life one day at a time in the purest sense. Were you and your grandma close? Sure. My parents passed away in an accident when I was young, so she brought me up. I'm sorry to hear. Well, it was a long time ago. But I remember when it first happened. People thought grandma was heartless because... Well, because she seemed to move on with her new life and routine rather fast. But I knew it wasn't because of that. She still grieved and reminisced about them every day, missing them. But she just had this view on life. She was just grateful to be here, to take the blissful with the tragic, to be reborn each day. She always joked that even if the world ended tomorrow, she'd still be okay with it. 
even if the world ended tomorrow. I envy her. I'm not sure if I'd be able to live day to day like that. Me neither, but I guess it did rub off on me a bit through the years. She passed away not long before we first met, actually. Developed Alzheimer's later in life, and complications got her. When we first met... Is that why you went on that trip? You know, when you told me about your paper when I came back... I really questioned the path I'd chosen. I thought, there's, some, there's someone who could make a difference. And here I am, just prancing through life for myself. It's not exactly an altruistic choice on my part either, to be honest. It's more like an impulse. In a way, I wish I could feel content just being carefree and having fun, but I can't. Sometimes I wonder if we'd be better about it in the end. Well, sounds like maybe we could keep each other in check. Maybe we could. Hey, what do you think if... If... I mean, I know we hang out now and then already, but... What if we do that, but more? Like, uh, I know this place outside campus that makes the best avocado salad. Are you asking me out? Well, if you put it that way. Yeah, I, I guess I am. I don't think that's a good idea. It's because I'm a liberal arts major, isn't it? <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. But it's okay, I get it. No hard feelings. Let's just... I'm sick, Quincy. I've been since I was a kid. Every morning I wake up, I'm never sure if it'll take a turn for the worse. I'm a time bomb. Oh boy. I guess she slept through the night. Quincy? I guess I can be quiet on ours. Wait, but if I can't remember any of this, is it really me? Can I talk to her? I can't talk to her. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Holy cow, we uncovered a lot. Obviously, there's still a lot more we need to do. So, hopefully, we can uncover more and get more answers in the next episode. I still don't know what this has to do with the murders and all that stuff that happened at the beginning. But now we're getting into kind of like what the game is typically known for. So, maybe... We'll see those pieces start to connect. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. And we'll uncover another mystery in the next Nazo. Time. Nazo time. Yes, that's right. In the next Nazo time. My bad. <laughs>